cancers grow like gangbusters in the body, but we have had difficulty growing in the lab. We need laboratory models that capture the complexity of cancer. One person's lung cancer is different from another person's, so we actually need models that represent each genetic subtype of lung cancer, for example. What comes along with those models is genomic information and clinical information, and this has a profound impact on the way that these models can be used. The goal of the 1,000 models is just the first step of what can be done.